once a week I leave my house and I decide to get ready and I run errands. I never really need anything, but I just like to spend my money when I'm bored. And maybe it's because I'm a Taurus and we're materialistic. Also, I just love being like the mysterious hot girl in stores. Like sometimes you just need to live your main character moment. Before this summer, I hated reading. The last book I'd ever read was The Fault in Our Stars, if that tells you anything. But this is the book that got me out of my reading rut. Every summer after, I would recommend to anybody who's looking for like a romantic young adult book. So I went and I picked up You've Reached Sam. I think I heard this on TikTok. Mostly I got this because there was a beautiful display in Barnes and Noble and they wrote like little notes on like what the book was about. And while I was in Barnes and Noble, this old man looked at me and he said, are those tattoos press on? And I was like, no, they're real. So I don't know if that was him saying that my tattoos were bad and like looked like they were stick on or if he was like, oh honey, please don't tell me you actually got tattoos on your body. There's something bad about to happen to me. So I just went to Ulta and I was looking for a foundation that would match my natural skin tone, which is pasty as fuck. In the past, I've bought foundations for when I self tan, so I really have none that match my true skin color, which I'm trying to embrace lately. So I went with the Too Faced one. The reason why I'm like a little bit insecure about how pale I am is because one time in eighth grade, um, this guy held a piece of paper up to my face and he was like, you're the same color. These are my wiener dog puppies, Stella and Harper. Their hobbies include digging, racing around the yard, and barking at her cat, Phoenix. She doesn't put up with their shit. I am pretty much a full-time stay-at-home dog mom, but I love it. If you see the back of my head, no, you don't. So obviously I called this video Day in the Life of a Lonely 22 Year Old and I just kind of want to unpack that. Hi, it's Editing Angie. To make a long story short because I just kept going on, I've been struggling a lot recently after college finding motivation to do things, especially the things I love to do the most. Like I just have been procrastinating so bad and this is something I've never struggled with. I was always the type of person as a student at least to get things done early so I had time to do the things I love to do like hanging out with friends and even just like hobbies and things and now I just can't even get myself to do simple tasks. I've applied to so many jobs like there's not a lot of video editing jobs in Seattle or the surrounding areas like where I would want to work. Get your fucking ass up and work. Um, I did apply to be Cody Ko's video editor so that would be amazing if that worked out. I'm a very introverted person, so I don't mind being at home a lot, but I do get bored. I was inspired by Pinterest to make a film journal, and obviously I love films. I got my degree in media production. I want to make a short film. That's like my biggest goal in life. I have never been a procrastinator, but I have been recently, so I'm going to get myself to do this. I know the first three movies I want to put in this because they're my top three favorite movies. The number one is 500 Days of Summer. And I hate to say it, um, the very first time I watched that movie, I was like, summer is the worst. I hate summer. But most recently, I watched it two weeks ago, and I came to the realization that I was summer. I am summer. My second movie I'm going to put in there is The Duff. The Duff is like my comfort movie. I know it's pretty cringe. The Duff stands for the designated ugly fat friend, but I don't think you need to fit that definition. You just have to feel like the least desired friend out of your friend group. And I've, I always felt like that way in high school. And then the third movie I'd put in here is La La Land. And I'm gonna admit the very first time I saw La La Land, I didn't like it. And, and then I became a theater kid, okay? And I was like, this movie is everything. One of my all-time favorite songs, if I like just want to feel like the main character, I listen to me and Sebastian's um, piano song, whatever it's called. Da -da 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 -da. I want to buy a piano just so I can play that song. That's how much I love that song, okay? And also the very ending makes me cry every single time and it's so... 
it's so real like it's like 500 days of summer where they do the expectation versus reality it's like the whole movie is the expectation the end is reality so i'm gonna get myself to do this today i just need to get some scrapbooking supplies and my printer prints in black and white but i think i can make that work with the aesthetics here's the final product with my sort of interpretations of everything down here we have the very first scene where they kind of flirt I put flowers to show like their love is blooming. I have this little sticker that says sent from heaven because that's really what Tom thinks of summer. And I also have his quote that says, I love summer. And over here I have, I love the Smiths because that's what summer says to Tom in this scene as he's listening to the Smiths. I have some headphones, lights, and then we go up here. I have the city that Tom drew on summer's arm his favorite park bench. I have a kitchen sink because they always went to Ikea and I have a quote the very first time they went Summer said the sink's broken and then over here I have the title of the movie 500 days of summer um, I tried to make like a little sun over here and then I have the best scene in the movie which is the expectation versus reality scene over here we have a couple that's clearly in love I have the little I love you sticker, and I put expectation in red, and I put reality in blue, because I always think of blue as, like, sad, um, and I have a little flashlight kind of shining on what's reality. Proud of myself for just using what I have, and I love it. One of the things I love to do, but have been procrastinating lately, is playing the guitar. Why would you ever I know about five chords, actually, maybe six chords on the guitar, and that's G, C, E, A, and I can never play D. It sounds horrible, and it might be because I don't know how much this guitar was. I have this 16 Wishes poster of what I wanted when I turned 16 because I watched the Debbie Ryan movie. One of the wishes is that... I would be a famous singer by 16. Number one is actually, I'll have the most views on YouTube. So that's kind of sick. Maybe we have some foreshadowing here. Three is, I'll be a superstar. And that's supposed to say probably a singer. But my favorite is six. I'll adopt a kid. Music's just in my family. My grandma used to be a country singer on the radio. So, yeah. It's a Wednesday. So it's time to watch big brother i want to get some comfy clothes on and then watch my favorite reality show if you guys are watching big brother this season who do you think's gonna win i think i'm honestly rooting for turner it would be a dream come true if i got on big brother i don't think i'd be very good at competitions but i do think i would have a really good social game and just be on everybody's good side and i would hopefully join like a huge alliance and just be on the the right side of the boat every time. These are just my thoughts. Skincare time. This product right here is what cleared my skin. My before bed routine now consists of reading a book because I'm trying my best to stay off my phone before I go to bed. Right now I'm reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I just got Goodreads the app so I can start like rating books and stuff. 